we're back after some uh, slight issues with my laptop. <laughs> but uh, this is Garcia's, and we're gonna go straight into it. Okay, <laughs> that took a while. Okay, so three, two, one, go. So yeah, you might, uh, well, you probably don't know this game. Uh, it's an Iranian game that came out uh, a couple years ago. And it's basically a God of War clone. And uh, yeah, it's pretty interesting. It's kind of broken, maybe. It's a very long cutscene here at the start. Oh yeah, if you uh, weren't here before, we were here just now for the last yeah. one. We just swapped places. Yeah, I'm. Uh, <laughs> I'm. Uh, who am I? Oh, I'm epic dude guy. General yeah. Brick, <laughs> Outcast Legend. Yeah, thanks. And uh, Havard, who's uh, something. Maybe a Geogaster Legend. Maybe yeah. Cool. Might find that out soon. Yeah. So uh, we can also talk about how we, why we play this. Uh, how are we playing? So like last last ESA, like at the end of last ESA, people came up to me and like, hello. Do you have a bad game? I said yes. <laughs> I gave them Garshasp, one and two. And then uh, they, it already had runs on SR.com, which usually is a big no no. <laughs> yeah, it's <laughs> happened yeah. sometimes on first load. Yeah. So as you can see, it's a, a God of War clone. Um, yeah, so we uh, looked at the runs and then we instantly figured out the new strats. And then we made the pact, the Garshasp master plan. <laughs> To, uh, originally, we would all make make runs and submit submit bomb the leaderboard, but we didn't because who wants to play this? <laughs> Only him. Uh, so yeah, we in, instead we are showcasing the runs now at the ESA. Yeah, well, we kind of got we kind of memed ourselves, so yeah. we uh, <laughs> we were hiding strats, which is something you should never do. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> then someone else found out the glitch that we found, but. Yeah. He made a way better skip than uh, <laughs> we were able to make. Um, so he. Oh, actually, we'll talk about that later. Yeah. Just watch the cutscene. So that's the uh, bad guy. He's fighting the some other guy who's just wearing like a T-shirt or whatever. Seems like a fair fight. When did this come out again? Like 2006? Yeah, something like that. Yeah. So that was rolling. Rolling is OP. So is jumping. Yeah, so what he's trying to do now is use the sword animation to get another jump off. Yeah. You can get like a high jump if you time it right, which I didn't. But uh, you can also jump off the enemy's head. So there's a bunch of things that's going to happen now. Okay, so this is uh, void rolling as the... Uh, the runner who found it again uh, called it. It's a pretty good name. And yeah, so you basically start at the first level uh, and then you roll to the last level at kind of the end of it. So, so uh, <laughs> yeah. this will be very interesting. Uh, he actually didn't have that good of a setup. Um, he had a video with controller input, which was really useful, but also it was with controller, uh, which is kind of inconsistent. So I made a setup for keyboard, which is 100% uh, consistent. Oh, so, so, so yeah, now we're just uh, rolling through all the levels. So. Yeah, so this is uh, Dark Souls before Dark Souls exists. 2006 from Mario. Yeah. It's very cool. So now we get the uh, the skybox from the second level, or yeah. Yeah, it was like uh, when and we, we roll some more. Yeah. When we tried to route it, it was basically just find find a way out of bounds and then roll in a direction and see <laughs> where we ended up. Yeah, we yeah. just kept on doing that forever. It's very it's impressive that the guy who found this actually found it. Like yeah. maybe he knew maybe <laughs> knew well more yeah. about the game. I guess. <laughs> yeah. I guess. Yeah. Took us. So now we'll get another load. Like ten, ten, ten people at the ESA. And now we're almost there. So the tricky part is um, the camera gets stuck where you where you start. Um, so the tricky part is getting the camera back. Luckily, there's a really big uh, shaft <laughs> right here where you can get the camera back. Uh, yeah, so now we skipped like 
basically the whole game. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mind you, it's not a it's not a short mm -hmm. game. It's pretty long. Yeah. There's also a category for no void rolling. Should it? Yeah. Okay. This is actually random. If the blades will. Yeah. Okay. What? Well, didn't. <laughs> Positioning myself so he would fall onto the other ledge, but then he didn't. Nope. <laughs> Don't worry about it. Yeah, but since the One estimate more? is a uh, lot higher than. Oh. That's fine. <laughs> than uh, the first game here, we might uh, do the second game as well. After yeah, the second game is also pretty short. Yeah, that's a <laughs> another very nice uh, glitch in it. Yeah. That one's actually just shorter in general as a game. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Icky. <laughs> Icky. So yeah, this section is kind of uh, annoying. Icky oh. After that, it should be pretty. Oh, Shoutouts to Toka for that. You can actually just jump straight up instead of climbing up, which is a lot faster. Don't think we'll get it here. Though, no. Need to be in the very corner. You can see how much slower that is than yeah. just. So yeah, now for some more very interesting gameplay. So the game is actually quite full of these very like large height differences for some reason. Like the uh, the part where we roll down is actually really long way down and then this is like again really long way up there's a lot of stuff in, in the game like that yeah, which is kind of useful for uh, falling to it <laughs> yeah for like rolling but it's very strange the yeah like we made quite a lot of use of that in uh, our route that we came up with Here you can do a little trick where you get a low screen, <laughs> where you jump into a checkpoint trigger, right there, then reload it. Saves like three seconds. Okay, so now I'm gonna do the jump again, see if I'm better at it. There we go. So fight skip. It's easier with certain weapons, but the uh, sword is quite difficult. Yeah, there's actually a, another weapon in this game, you get quite late, but we actually already went past there. Um, but that one's kind of kind of easy, but oh my god. <laughs> Rolling in this game is really interesting. You just hold forward and then he rolls sideways. Okay, he's gonna skip this guy as well. It's a very precise timing. I think I might have some audio delay, which is kind of confusing. There we go. There we go. Thanks. <laughs> I didn't do anything yet. <laughs> I just twitched. Okay, don't worry. So now we're on to the second fight of the game, which is the final boss. Gonna get some help, because it's uh, quite a difficult fight. Yeah, the boss fights were pretty painful in this game. Swamp boss. <laughs> oh, yeah. oh no. Yeah, every um, every level has an end boss. Kind of, I think. I had forgotten swamp boss. Yeah, it's Can't really hear you over the cutscene. <laughs> ah, it's fine. But yeah, the, the swamp boss is uh, very stupid. So it's good that we skip it now. So there he is again. And now we'll get into some actual combat. Uh, so there's light attacks, heavy attacks, and then you can block. And you can use block to actually cancel your animations. It's kind of nice. And you can also use block to counter attack. 
which is um, pretty cool because when during a counter attack you actually are invulnerable as well. So when he spams his attack, you just counter the first one, and then the other ones won't hit you. So I'm just uh, spamming heavy attack, and then I do the counter with the light attack because it's faster. Okay, missed the counter there, but I got it. Also, in this game, it's kind of weird, but if there's two consecutive hits very quickly after each other, he will always counter if you just block, if you just hold it. Okay, so that was the first phase. Now we need to destroy these orbs, and there will be adds spawning. There they are. So I would like to kill them during this phase, because I'm not going to spend any time actually focusing them. So it's nice to just uh, get as much damage in on them as possible. Because they're quite annoying when you have to fight the boss at the same time as well. So now... I'll actually be switching to light attacks. Because they have more AoE. Okay, go ahead. Tokel only one donated five dollars. Reminder that the full Garshast series bundle is currently only seven bucks on Steam. Oh. Bargain. Fingers, Michael, Michael donated ten dollars. This one goes out to the late great Ryan Davis. Duda, life is weird these myself. days. The speedrunning G A A A A A R S H A A A A S P. I'm taking this quite safe because I don't want to die. You can basically just block a lot and then counter whenever it comes up. And then you'll do an uh, AoE spin. I guess, so, as long as I'm just fighting the boss alone, it's not that difficult. It's just the adds are really annoying. So it's one down, the other one is like one hit left. He didn't die from that. Should die now, maybe? Okay, I'm actually gonna kill him before the... F for the next phase. Okay. okay, so these enemies can be very nice. If I'm lucky, yeah, they will just not do anything. They will just keep blocking. But I... I'm not sure why it works, but uh, I've noticed that if there's another enemy around, they won't do that, so that's why I killed the uh, the other ad before. Like, you can, <laughs> you can probably tell that this fight's kind of intense. So. I'm not gonna say much anymore. Need to get him down to like 20% and then I can execute him. But he needs to be in the middle, otherwise it doesn't work for some reason. Or like, not on the outer edge. So I should probably go there soon. Yeah, that should be fine. QTE. Just random. Okay, that's all the inputs done. So now time will be when he hits the sword. And time. 
What was that? Okay, 14. So that's the first game. I will just quit out so we can continue on disc to the second game. <laughs> or disc two. Yeah, <laughs> disc two. So can I just go right away? Okay. Nice menu. Okay. And go. So this game, I actually like more now. I used to dislike it a lot because of the final fight being yeah. really hard. Yeah. But now the final fight's actually easier than the first one. Because <laughs> I just got good, I guess. <laughs> yeah, first load takes a while when you just boot up the game. Okay, so there he is again. Um, the games don't really make much sense if you think of them as sequels. I don't really know how it, how it makes sense in any way. <laughs> it's more like parallel games, I guess. Like in both games, Garsha has to get this mace. Uh, but like, if this was a sequel, like, why did he lose it? <laughs> I don't get it. Can't you see I'm dying? We can't wait. Something in this forest is chasing after us. It's interesting here. Just can't enjoy the cutscene. What? I don't feel anything. But I should say this forest is not a safe place at all. Father said it's full of ogres and demons. What dragon wants to stop me? Athlet said his mace is hidden somewhere in the forest. And I'll kill any animal who'd block my way. You don't mess with Garshasp. Is it worth this much trouble? Yes, it's worth it. We should separate here. This way we'll find them this easier. Search the left side. You may find a clue there. We will meet on the stone bridge. This is the temple of the dragon. The dragon caught by two edge. What if the dragon comes up? Should I fight with this? Just gives him a stern look. I shouldn't be here. A sword. Yeah, it's kind of weird. Like, this cutscene just feels really yeah. unnatural, but. Uh, I mean, that's the, game's the whole game. No. <laughs> the game is kind of unnatural. Yeah. Okay, so this game has four skips. Let's go to the first one. Okay. So the devs actually figured out that the barriers were a bit too low, so they make them higher, but not high enough. Here we just stay out of bounds. We don't have to get out of Okay. Oops. Okay. Ah, that was close. Just have to get the checkpoint here. Somewhere there. Let's get back in bounds. So those were the two first skips actually already. <laughs> Great. Nice rolling. And that's the temple of the dragon. And we're gonna climb it. Kind of. Okay, so cutscene skip here. There we go. This these spikes don't hurt you, it's fine. Mm -hmm. I guess that's also a skip, so there's now five skips. We kind of figured that out yesterday. So yeah, another fight here in air quotes. This guy is pretty tall, so we can jump over these high barriers with 
him as a step up if he wants to cooperate. Oh, that's close. Sometimes he likes to run away. Yeah. Okay, there we go. Now we have to do some out of plant movements. Okay. Now we can get inbounds with his ledge. And now we get on to the uh, best skip in this game. <laughs> oh. yeah. do some so we go into the corner and then we wiggle. And it has a certain rhythm to it. But yeah, what you do is uh, just tap back and forth and then the camera slowly moves up every time for some reason. And then after some other shenanigans, you can make the game think that you're actually at the position that the camera is looking at. So we're going to abuse that to time this tower way quicker than you're supposed to. So we're almost there. We go to about here and then climb all the way to the right. And then we do some sword slashes. And that slightly moves you to the right every time. So we need to do a lot of those to go far enough. entire tower we actually have full health that's kind of good so now we go into the final boss uh, which is pretty tricky but with full health it should be pretty doable very doable So yeah, now we get the mace again, because, I don't know. Don't even know what it does or why it's good. <laughs> Just exists. So first he's invulnerable. No. No? Yeah, okay. <laughs> and then there will be uh, spikes coming out of the area, and then I can activate the lever in the middle, and then they will hit him. And I have to do that twice. So all I can do is just avoid his attacks basically for now. Okay, good. So next phase he will start to activate the spikes himself, but we know where he is, so let's go to him right away. And he goes back to the middle. And now the actual fight starts. This time I'm going to be spamming light attacks. Because they're pretty good here. And the blocking is a bit different, you can't just block everything. Oh, this is so you have to actually time your counters. And you want to get counters in, because they do a lot of damage. Okay, good. And they also make you invulnerable. His animations are really weird, like sometimes his idle animation looks like an attack. Should be 
fine here. Okay, that's him dead, but that's not the end of the game. <laughs> Sadly. But that was a pretty good fight. Yeah, it's pretty solid. Like, that's legitimately difficult if you do that for the first time. Took me a while before I beat him. Casually. Oh, casually. Swap was still worse. Yeah, I'm, if you're confused at home, uh, I am confused as well. Okay, so there's his brother again, and then we just have to cross this bridge, and that's then it's the end of the game. So I actually uh, grinded this game a bit while practicing, because it's kind of fun. Okay, and uh, time. And I got like a, a 10.27, that's pretty good. Also, random, random uh, Iranian dub. Yeah. <laughs> it should be world record by a second. Really? Yeah. <laughs> oh. Okay, apparently world record by a second. <laughs> it was a really good run. Yeah. So yeah, th I have been Epic Dude Guy, and uh, thank you for joining us with Garcias. I hope you enjoyed. I sure did. And yeah, see you all next time.